Hello everyone, we will continue the topic type group and in the previous videos, we understood the concept of type group. Then we did the practical part. We created a type group through SC11 transaction code and we used that type group in multiple programs using the keyword or we can say using the statement type pools then you need to give the name of the type pool the keyword is type pools not type pool whenever you are using a type group into the programs now in this video we will understand the disadvantage of type group and then we will see what is the best alternative for the same now we will go for simple understanding what is the disadvantage or drawback of the type group the disadvantage is yes if you require only few data types still we need to load the whole type group suppose we will go for simple example in this particular type group we have three structure types suppose in this particular program, we require all the three structure types. Okay, no problem. Suppose into this particular program also, we require these three structure type. Okay. Suppose I am creating one more program. Suppose I will go for SC38 transaction code. I will create one more program. I will go for create. Suppose I am saying to display the sales order details. Anyways, I'm not going for any logic part. I will just go for save and I will go for local object. Suppose into this particular program, I only want the structure types of VBAK and VBAP. I'll just wait. Suppose into this particular program, I require the structure type of VBAK and VBAP. We all know we have a type group and in that type group we declared for VBAK, VBAP and MAKT. So I am writing type pools. I am giving the name of the type group. Suppose I will declare the internal table and work areas for VBAK, VBAP. Now I'm activating. Now into this particular program, I only require the structure type. So we can say data types of VBAK and VBAP. We loaded this type group into this particular program. Now, if I will go for this particular type group, this type group has MAKT also. There is no alternative that we can only use these two from this particular type group. Suppose we'll go for example. Suppose a particular type group has 20 or 25. I can say data types, means structure type or table type. But you only require 5 or 10 in a particular program. There is no alternative that we can only only use the selected one. We have to load the full type group into this particular program. So this is a major, major disadvantage that you do not have a option to pick only few data types. We can say structure type or table types from that particular type group. You need to go for or you need to use the full type group into the program. So what is the best alternative for the same? So this is the reason nowadays we are not creating type group. Yes, if SAP available type group is there. Yes, we use those type group. Suppose one best example is SLIS. But whenever, it, whenever it's a turn to create your own type group, we avoid creating that type group and we use the global classes types. Suppose I will go for the example and we will see the alternative for the same. I will go to SC24 transaction code. This is the transaction code for global classes. Suppose I am saying Z sales underscore one. Suppose I am giving some name. I will go for create. I will go for class. 
Anyways, I'm not going for any logic part. Suppose I will say sales order class. I will go for sale. I will go for local object. So into this global class, I have a type tab. So in this particular type tab, I will declare the structure type and table type, whatever is required. Suppose I will go for type tab. Now I will simply write, what is the first structure type we declared? LTY underscore VBAK. Suppose I will choose the visibility as public. Now I will click here. System will take me the, to the editor where I can create. This part is fully, fully explained in the ABAP OOPS playlist. If you want more detailed understanding, you can learn this topic from ABAP OOPS playlist. As of now, our target is how it is a best alternative for type group. Now I will simply copy the structure type of VBAK. This is the structure type for VBAK. I will, I'm declaring into the type tab of the class. If you want to write the logic by your own, it's totally your wish. Now, same way, I will go for VBAP and MAKT. Now, I will go for VBAP and MAKT. I will go to back button. Suppose I am going for LTY VBAP, LTY MAKT. This is also public. This is also public. I will create. It will take me to the types editor. Yes. Now I will copy for a VBAP and MAKT. This is VBAP and MAKT. I will simply copy. I will uncomment. So I declare these structure types in the class itself. Global class types tab. I will activate. Now into this particular class types tab, I have these structure types. Now we will simply use in the program. Suppose if we want to use in the program, I will take any of the program. Suppose I'm not going for any type pool because we are not going for type pool. Now we will use the classes, which tab types tab. Suppose I will comment this. Now, if I want a internal table, how I will declare, I will simply write data LT underscore VBAK type table of what is the class name? Z sales underscore one. And what is the structure type name? I need to use equal to and greater than key. What is the name of the structure type LTY underscore VBAK? Same way, I can declare work area LTLWA underscore VBAK type this. Now I will copy paste for VBAP. This is VBAP. This is MAKT. This is VBAP. VBAP. This is VBAP. This is VBAP. And this is our MAKT. I'll just correct that also. This is VBAP. This is MAKT. This is MAKT. This is MAKT. So rather than using the type group, I simply use the types which I declared in the global class. Now, why, why this is the best option? Suppose in this particular program, I want all the three structure types. So I used suppose into this particular program in the third program, I only require two structure type. I do not require third one. So I, I will just, I'm just commenting this part. Now I will simply, simply use these two. 
Now you can see there's no need to import the whole type tab of the class. Whatever is required, we are simply, simply using this. And this is the best, best alternative, very important question from the interview perspective. Why type group is absolute? Or we can say rather than type group, why we are using classes type step? The simple answer is yes. In case of type group, you need to load the whole types which is in that particular group. There is no option that we can only use the few one from that particular type group. But there is no such drawback in case of class, global class type step. You can declare all your structure type and table type in the type tab of the class. Whatever is required, you can simply, simply use whatever the portion is required, you can use into your program. So into this particular video, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained, yes, what is the alternative for the type group? The best alternative is, yes, you can use the global classes type tab. In that case, whatever is required, you can simply use into your program. So what is the questions and answer from the interview perspective from this particular topic? So firstly, what is the transaction code to create a type group? Answer is SC11. What is the widely used type group for ALV? Answer is SLIS. Yes, we used SLIS type group for ALV. What is the naming convention? to declare a data type in the type group. Data type means structure type or table type. How we can declare? You need to give the name of the type group underscore. You need to give the name of the data type. Data type means structure type or table type. And I showed you also, if we are not following the naming convention, we are getting the error. So you need to give the name of the type group underscore name of the structure type or table type. How you can use a type group in a program that you need to use the keyword type pools, not type pool. The keyword is type pools. Then you need to give the name of the type group. Now, after that, what is the benefit of type group? The main benefit of type group is one type group can be used in multiple programs. It means it increases the readability and reusability of the code rather than declaring the structure type and table types in, in so many programs. We can simply create a type group and use in multiple programs. What is the drawback of type group? The main, main drawback of type group is that we need to simply, simply use whole type group. There is no provision to use a portion of the type group. And what is the alternative of the type group? The best alternative of type group is we need to use global classes type scan. So this is all about the full topic of type group. We discussed the full practical part. And after that, we discuss the question and answers, which are important for this particular topic. So that's it in this video. Thank you.